me and then we're gonna give everybody a tour of your room, okay? Right here on this entryway wall, these peony wall decals came from Wayfair and they're kind of covering up some holes that were left over from my older daughter because this was her room before. Um, but they're so pretty and they just add a lot of interest to this wall. The wall color here is Sherwin-Williams Sedate Gray and I love this wall color because it kind of morphs. Sometimes it looks kind of greenish, sometimes it looks gray. Sometimes it can have like a blue color to it, just depending on the lighting. So it's pretty cool. Um, then you walk in and I love this little swan head thing. Aniston's gonna help us show her room. Um, and I really always wanted that kind of um, wispy, curtainy looking um, canopy style bed. Um, so I actually put this together myself and I honestly just put it together to see how it looked. And then I ended up liking it, so I left it. This was actually a shelf that I got. It's like a little shelf piece that I got from that antique store that y'all probably see me post about a lot here in Athens. It's called Willow Cottage, and I just adore that store. Um, and then the curtain things came from um, Ikea, actually. The swan head came from Reception Hardware, along with the bed, which is... A crib. Now this is convertible to a toddler bed as well as a full size bed. So I thought this was a great choice that it would kind of grow with her. Um, and then the rug, which Margo is sitting on, came from Wayfair. And I just kind of like the little rawhide look, even though it's not really rawhide. I just thought it was super cute and it's got silver details in it as well. Um, so I knew that I wanted the decor to be like the soft pink color with um, flowers. And so I searched and searched for art and I found this on Etsy. And actually this artist is from China, which I thought was hilarious. And this actually came from China and I really didn't do that on purpose. I just happened to find it and thought it was so pretty. So um, this is an artist all the way from China. And that is supposed to be a camellia, I believe, which was super cool too, because that's Alabama state flower. Then I got these little pretty um, pottery barn flower porcelain um, 3D wall arts to kind of pop out too, um, as well as the little paper version of the flowers um, also from Pottery Barn. I thought those were so cute. As you can see, she's messing up the whole curtain. Um, all the bedding came from Restoration Hardware. And sorry, you're seeing my phone shadow, but I just loved all the little animals on it. And it kind of pulled in, oh, I'm pulling that. It kind of pulled in the swans, but also um, other little animals too. So I thought it was super cute. Shh, Marco, it's okay. There's the bumper. And then these little baskets I thought were super cute. They were on Zoo Lily. I have a major Zoo Lily addiction problem. Um, they're pretty sturdy. And let me show you something. If you need to hang up stuff super easy, these are those like wall monkey things. You can get them at Lowe's. They're super easy to put in. You can see this basket's kind of damaged the wall a little bit. But, oh well, we'll have to repaint eventually, right? <laughs> um, but they hold things that are really heavy. And as you can see, this has got books in it. Um, and it holds it really well. So um, super easy. I hate dealing with screws. So that to me is a great alternative. Um, as we come around, we have these cute curtains that I got from Restoration Hardware Kids as well. Another rainy, gloomy day. This says Alabama winters right here. It's always rainy and gloomy. Um, then the little swivel rocking chair also came from Restoration Hardware. This lamp, look how pretty this lamp is. This was actually my great aunt Ruth's and it just kind of never got claimed. And my mom brought it one day and I just, you know, sometimes my design comes from me just sticking things somewhere and then ending up liking it. And so it's so funny how that just kind of worked out. Um, so I love it. Uh, I talked about this on the pictures, but Aniston is from South China, which is considered Canton. They speak Cantonese and it's kind of a different culture. Um, and that's what this little ball thing is one of their traditional good luck charms. Um, and so that is what her nannies gave us. And then this scroll is not in Cantonese, it's actually in Mandarin. So she grew up in Beijing um, and so I had it written in Mandarin because that's the language that she knows. Um, but her Chinese name was 
Jai Jai He. So Jai He, say Jai He. You're not gonna say it? Jai He is actually her first name and Shai is her last name, but in China, they say the surname first. Um, so Shai is the first character, then Jai He is the last character. And then down the side, it also has her, the date that she was adopted and um, her American name and Chinese characters which I thought was super cool. Um, over here, I love Rifle Paper Company. I, I should do more posts about their stuff because I think their stuff is just so whimsical and cute. So these two pieces of art I actually had for a long time in my office and I stole them from my office because they just fit in here so perfectly. And then the butterfly mural piece also came from Party Barn Kids. Um, I really kind of wanted to do some 3D kind of looks in here, um, just to add a little bit more interest. I think that's so fun and like a really cool style these days. So, um, this artwork over here is super special. Um, this was actually a piece that was made for me when I was pregnant with my oldest. And her name is Lily Grace. And these are Calla Lilies. And this is an oil pastel art piece made my one of my mom's friends. And so it's actually Lily Grace's, but once we redid everybody's room, it didn't fit in like color wise and design wise as much with Lily's room and it just fit perfect in here. So then we have, um, this is from my mom's photography class. So she's taking a photography class and took this picture and then gave it to us um, because of Lily as well. So these are actually two pieces left over from when this was Lily Grace's room, but it just, maybe subconsciously, that's why I designed this whole room around. It's very possible. Um, so that is this um, wall. And then over here we have, actually I wanna show, oh, I'm getting in the mirror. Okay, this is super cool. So when we um, were in the process of adopting, um, our adoption agency has this weekend long retreat type thing where it's just really preparing your hearts and your minds for what's to come with the adoption process. Um, if, even if you've had kids before, um, it's just such a different process. So it was cool also to get to kind of network with other people. This was um, other people that are in the process as well. But this was a um, just a little token that they gave to each of us. And so I thought it was only fitting to make sure it went in Aniston's room. Um, and then these are just more floral pieces. And excuse that spot in the wall. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there, but you know, life with kids, right? Um, these were just, I believe that I got the fern wall art on Wayfair or Zulily. Now I can't remember. Um, the little smaller Queen Anne's lace. Did, okay, raise your hand if you ever used to pick Queen Anne's lace as a kid. I always did. And I've always loved this flower. Even this a wildflower. I just think it's so, um, dainty and pretty and lacy. So I love this. But I got this at Pimento's forever ago. And that's a local store here. Also in Athens. All right, so making it back around, this is Aniston's dresser, and it's also from Restoration Hardware. The mirror is from Pottery Barn Teen, and that's left over from Lily Grace's room. And then the pretty floral paper. Okay, I may have to, I may end up getting in the shot through the mirror. I don't want to, but um, this was from also from Pottery Barn, and I just love the detail that it adds to the room. It's so cute. Look. Just beautiful, and it's paper. It's just paper. And they really were not that expensive too. It just adds a lot of interest. Um, and then of course I've got eucalyptus, preserved eucalyptus. Um, these cute little antique pieces came from the Funky Monkey in Huntsville. And Anderson actually picked those out. I was roaming through there one day and she happened to just pick this up and she really doesn't show a lot of interest in very many things other than Boss Baby and babies. So, um, I had to get it for her and it was set up just like that. So I had to get it for her. And then my mom got the little cross. Um, thought it was cute for in here, the cross shadow box. And then here is the mirror image to the other side. And this is hydrangeas, which I also love. Uh oh, somebody just wanted a snack opened up. Um, Muddy Buddies are Anderson's favorite. Okay, then we have this sweet little chair. Um, I've always loved these chairs from Pottery Barn Kids. Super cute. Um, and then the mirror image to the other floral art over here. Oh, I don't think that I did this side of the dresser. 
Um, of course, I have to have a plant in here. And this is a pink airhead plant. And it's so cute. I just love the color on this. And how could you not get that for this room? Um, this was made. I got this in Guangzhou. It was handmade. And I just thought it was so pretty. Um, there is this place called the Chen Clan. Um, it just escaped me. The Chen Clan home in Guangzhou. And it's this really cool house that they have set up there. And they had artisans in there. Y'all probably see me post about this house um, in um, Instagram posts, but beautiful. And then this candle, y'all are going to think I'm so weird, but if you are near Target, go and smell this candle because it smells amazing. But also the cool thing about it and why I had to get it is it smelled exactly like the hotel we stayed in in Nanning, which is where we got Aniston at. They have these big like perfume blower things in all the hotels um, in China, which I thought was really funny. Um, but the one in Nanning smelled the best. And it was definitely this, the red currant and quince. How do you say that? Quince, quince. I, I never have known how to say that. Um, so, if you're near Target, this is where I got this. And I smelled it and I had to have it. And I'm not going to burn it because I just want to be able to open it and smell it. Like, just to remind me of that special time. So, anyways, this is Aniston's room. And I'll give you one more pano around because it's just so cute. This is probably one of my favorite rooms in the house because I just love the way that it turned out. Um, okay, she messed up that curtain. I <laughs> should have fixed that before I did the pano, huh? Um, super cute. Well, thank you for touring Aniston's room with me today.